Hey, my big followers, we are up to week four for the NFL. Um, before I get into the Giants, I'll just look at the um, pickums that I've been doing, the bookums. Um, last week I went three and two again, almost went four and one, had a late field goal that kind of knocked one of those out. Uh, so overall, I'm eight and seven, so I'm a little over 50%. I know it's not great, but it's what it is. Um, we're going to do the bookums first. So um, I'm going to take the Giants. I'm going to take the Giants. I don't know why. Um, other than the fact they're getting seven and a half in New Orleans, I know that there's going to be a crazy fan base because they, they have no fans since 2019. But the Giants, for all that they, um, for all the mistakes they make and all the missed opportunities that they have, they've been within a score the last two weeks, right? We lost on two last minute field goals. So, Seven and a half points is two turn uh, two scores. So I'm going with just the stats there. I'm going to take the Giants getting seven and a half in New Orleans. Um, I'm also taking Detroit getting three at Chicago. Detroit is kind of like the Giants. They're just not as good. Um, but they had opportunities to win two weeks in a row and got beat on a record-breaking field goal that banked off the field goal post. So I think that they can challenge. And Justin Fields, while didn't have a great game last game, I'm sure he'll have a bounce back a little bit today. Um, I still think that Detroit can keep it within three. Uh, I'm taking Green Bay home, given seven to Pitt. Uh, Roethlisberger is not the same Roethlisberger as old, and I don't trust them. Uh, Claypool's out as well, so he's losing a couple of his targets to throw to. Juju doesn't have the step that he has before, um, and Green Bay is going to be all over them. So I think Green Bay is going to handily take out Pitt. Uh, I'm taking... In the, the TB versus NE game, Tampa Bay versus uh, New England, I'm going to take Tom Brady and those Bucks uh, to give six and a half to the Patriots. I think it's going to be a, um, I think people are overhyping the game. Uh, Belichick especially doesn't care. Let's be honest, he doesn't. Um, he's just going to try to win a game. He's going to try to take away Tom Brady's weapons, but Tom Brady has too many weapons, so he won't be able to do that. And Tom Brady's smart enough to know where to go. So um, Tampa Bay wins that one by seven or more. And the last one I'm going to take is I'll take the Las Vegas Raiders, getting three and a half at the Chargers. Um, the Chargers are for real. They are. But so is Las Vegas. Um, they're playing strong. They're playing good. And they played up to the challenges of the other teams. I think they'll do the same here. So we're taking the Giants, uh, getting seven and a half. Detroit getting three. Green Bay giving seven. Tampa Bay giving six and a half. And Las Vegas uh, getting three and a half. Those are my book on picks for week four. Uh, hopefully I go 4 and one I want to jump ahead here and, and really be above the 50% that I'm at, but that's where we're at. Okay, let's say way to the Giants. Um, the seven, what are the seven things of grief, whatever that is, um, depression I had, um, acceptance I had, I don't know what, where I'm at now, but here's what I, here's what I know. Um, when I take a step back and I look at it and realize that we should be 2-1, and one, we should. Um, the mistakes we made and then the defense just letting both – those last two teams just go down the field with the last minute of the game to, to get a field goal. Um, I don't know if Patrick Graham is really unlocking the potential of the defense. I feel like last year we did a lot more pressures, and this year he's doing a lot more uh, pushing for. Leonard Williams is not getting the push that he got last year. Um, but if you look at the whole, even as bad as we played, we had a chance to win both those games. Now, I'm not saying that they were competitive, right? Atlanta's not any good, and Washington's not. They're showing what we're showing. In the beginning of the season, Washington was thought to have a top five defense, and they're going to be pushing for the NFC title. They're playing as bad, if not worse, than us in terms of the defense. Um, and so I think they're both going to turn around. I think in the, the next couple weeks, we're going to hopefully see the Giants and the Washington defenses rebound um, to put some pressure on Dallas. But we are getting seven and a half points. And um, that's a lot of points. So... I think that Daniel Jones, let's be honest, he ran through a defensive tackle last week to get a two-point conversion. It, there's not a lot of QBs that have the confidence to do something like that, okay, and has the wherewithal to do it. So he's committed. He's also committed to not turning the ball over, which is good, two games in a row. And he jumped on the one fumble he had literally into, into a pile, which normally quarterbacks won't do, and he did. So he committed to it. So he's committed to not turning the ball over. He's really putting a lot on his shoulders. Saquon's going to get better. The problem is our offensive line. And if we can't fix that, then the whole thing's dead. You know, when we won our Super Bowls, you got to remember, we had a pretty decent offensive line and a stellar defensive line. The rest are just pieces. And 
until we get back to that, we're not going to be as successful as we think we are. And that's what they need to understand. They think they've got some defensive pieces, and we do. We have. They hope Andrew Thomas will be what he is. I don't know. He hasn't given up any sacks, which is good. So he is looking a little bit better. But if you think about where we are and where we need to be, that's what needs to happen. That's what Gettleman should have done. He thought he was doing it. He said hog mollies, but then they keep on picking up people that we don't know their names. Billy Price, nobody knew him, right? So um, that's the direction the Giants have to go in. And, and so what I want to see today is I don't expect them to win. I am taking the cover of the spread because I think they'll get it close, but I don't think they're going to win. And we don't. I don't see a win until the bye week, which means we don't, we don't lose <laughs> when we get to the bye week. We just don't lose. We don't win, but we don't lose. Um, they have a tough schedule going the rest of the way. Uh, you, we had to get a couple of those early ones. We didn't get them. So long story short, uh, what I want to look for today is Daniel Jones to not turn the ball over again. Okay. We want to see defensive pressures. We need at least three sacks on Jameis. If you put pressure on Jameis Winston, guess what he does? He throws interceptions. Okay. Last week we had, uh, Dory Jackson had a pick in the end zone. He dropped it. I don't think it's going to happen this week. I think we'll get a pick and that'll make a difference. Um, but the defensively, we need to see improvement, right? Saquon needs to get at least 80 rushing yards today. He got, he's getting closer and closer. They're trying to tell him, don't try to dance, just get in the hole and go. And I'm okay with that. He'll get better. He's going to get more excuse me, confidence in his running, and we'll be good. He just needs a hole. We'll go. Um, Receiving-wise, they're talking about getting um, our first-round pick, Tony, more involved, Kadarius Tony, and... I, I haven't seen a burst from him yet. I haven't. So if he's got one, maybe he can teach us and show us. But if he doesn't, um, they're going to make plays for him today. They're going to throw him the ball and see what he can do in space. If he can dance, I'm good. If he's like an Odell type of, of dancer when he can make moves and, and break tackles, let's go. So um, long story short, Daniel Jones, no turnovers. Saquon Barkley, 80 yards receiving. Defense, getting three sacks or hopefully a pressure, maybe a turnover. And then Tone. Tony, 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 Kadarius, Tony. Um, we want him to get involved. All right, that's what we're looking for, for the, the rules today. So um, good luck to everybody. Let's go Big Blue. And um, hopefully all of you do well in your fantasy if you have fantasy teams. All right, have a good one.